she had looked at her duty courageously in the face and found it a friend. As duty ever is when we meet it frankly. How many times do we face the things we have to with honor instead of dread? If I must be a human in the year 2024, then I will do so with gusto instead of melancholy. That is why I no longer believe in unhappiness. I don't believe in being unhappy anymore because I think that unhappiness has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with who I am. I no longer want to say that I'm unhappy, but rather that I'm feeling unhappiness inside of me right now. The primary cause of unhappiness is hardly ever the situation, but rather my thoughts about any given situation. And I am not my thoughts, and I am not my emotions, but rather I am the awareness behind them. But what I allow myself to think and ruminate on is what tends to create the emotions that I do feel. And so I no longer want to seek happiness because I think if you seek happiness, you won't find it. Happiness and contentment is available in every single moment, but it's my ego that convinces me that something has to change in order to attain that, that something shouldn't have happened in my past to be happy or something has to change right now in order to be happy and things like that. The second thing I no longer believe in is avoiding someone who I may not want to talk to. I refuse to feel guilty for the space that I take up and Everywhere I go, every room that I'm in, I have every right to be there as anyone else. Money and success in world stability is all fleeting, and whether or not I have those things should not affect how I show up to anyone, to myself. I'm not going to squish myself around those who I believe are more deserving, more successful, more established than I am. And I'm not going to inflate myself around people who I may subconsciously think are smaller than me, less than. That is because every identity that we cling to is fleeting. It's never really there. And if I think about that very deeply, then I can be myself and talk to anyone because at the end of the day, they're just a dude and I'm just a gal. <laughs> the last thing I no longer believe in is feigning humility or being shy. Understanding your strengths and honoring those strengths is not bragging or being overbearing because more often than not, closed mouths do not get fed. And there is an element of being forthright and purposeful about what you desire out of life and going towards something wholeheartedly without shame is worth everything because even if it doesn't work out, at least you can say that you tried. What are the things that you don't believe in anymore? 